Hi, in this paper we study the problem of attention-guided graph classification. Now what is attention? In our context, attention allows us to focus on task-relevant parts of the data to help improve performance. In this image captioning task, for instance, we can focus on a scene showing two people, and this will help us describe the first part of the caption. And then, we can attend to the scene showing the tent and the tree, and this will help us write the second part of the caption. We apply attention to the problem of graph classification. In chemoinformatics, for instance, molecules can be represented as graphs, and we want to train a classifier that can distinguish between graphs that have anti-cancer properties, graph at the top, and those that do not, the graph at the bottom. Typically, when we do graph classification, we calculate some global graph features that will help in distinguishing between graphs of different types. For example, we might count different kinds of graphlets or subgraphs. Because this is expensive to do, we are usually limited to counting fairly simple patterns. In this example, both the positive and the negative graphs end up having the same graphlet counts. On the other hand, if we use attention to focus only on the task-relevant parts of the graph, we can identify patterns that can help in distinguishing between positive and negative graphs. To obtain an embedding for a graph, we use what is called an attention-guided walk. Our agent starts at a random node in the graph, and it can only take a fixed number of steps to gather information about the graph. For example, our agent starts at the node C. It then needs to decide whether it wants to go to a D node or a B node. The attention mechanism is telling it that B nodes are more important. Because of this, our agent ends up moving to B. It then needs to decide whether it wants to go to C or A. Because attention is telling it that A is more important, we end our walk at the node A. Given the walk C, B, A, we now have enough information to tell us that the graph is a positive graph. For more information about our paper, including how we train our model, and also other information, please visit our talk. A copy of our paper is available at the website below. Thank you.